we get a table at this restaurant that's actually really highly rated and it happens to be at the hotel too, so that's pretty cool. trying to figure out if we could come in here and eat like as part of like the hotel guests or like you could just come in or whatever. And so we, uh, I tried to call down, I was like, hey, do you need like reservations? And I like got the hospitality group that owns the restaurant and I'm like, just forget it. <laughs> We're just going downstairs. Luckily, yeah, so it's like cafe service, you just go up and order. We thought it was gonna be like a sit down place. Uh, well, I think place. obviously for dinner it definitely is. Right, well, in some days it looks like they did have reservations open, so maybe like on the weekends they do more of like a brunch kind of thing as opposed to like this. Um, but anyway, this is exactly perfect and I'm really glad. And I hope it's the same food that we got, or same Looking kitchen. At the menu, some of it looked familiar, like your avocado toast. Was that was so. so, so good. Mm -hmm. And so I'm hoping it's uh, the same kitchen here. Look at that cock, madame. That looks so good. Yeah, right. Yes, it does. We both got the same thing. Because we just had to. It looks obviously. so good. This thing is a beast. It's got to be, what, 18, 14, 18 inches tall? <laughs> yeah, I'm literally eating like half the ham. Like, as if I'd be here all the time. Next time I order it, I'm going to be like, can I just have half the amount of ham? Yeah. <laughs> it's really good, though. Stand corrected. That tree right over there has been there for like a hundred years. Yeah, we figured that. I looked it up. I'm like, wait. The a only reason I said it is because when we were checking in, the woman who was at the, at the check-in desk said, "I thought she said the tree is new this year. She must have said something else is new this year." But I heard the tree, so that's why I was like, "Oh yeah, the tree's brand new." But then we looked it up. We're like, it's been there for a hundred years. <laughs> Wrong again, Tyler. <laughs> you should also know. I'm getting all this guff in the comments about guff and like, black. Guff, guff and fluff. All this guff and fluff about. Uh, the um, thing the was it yesterday or no the day before two days two ago. days ago where uh, yeah when they were on the Ferris wheel and they came off and Tyler was gonna share the history it was his idea to have that put in I had said nothing no, so no. I don't want to hear it but I don't I do get a little joke, annoyed though the joke is that yeah every time like she's filming me and My like eyes she's, just and go then dead. you can see the glazed eyes and I'm like all right Jess I'm done she's like oh, but I what's funny is I actually really do like history I think it's just because I already know a lot it's of this it's just my so delivery I'm like, I think is very boring <laughs> No. No, but the. It uh, is interesting. But we also get a lot of comments like, I hate the history. It's so boring. I'm like, but then others that are like, how dare you, Jessica? We love the history. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll give you a little bit of both. How about that? And that's what's great about our vlogs. We do some fun shopping and we talk some deep history. <laughs> you get it all, folks. Okay, so I really wanted to see this area. And I, if I had thought ahead, I would have like actually planned out a, r a route. But we're just kind of seeing a little bit. So this is Pullman, as in 
the Pullman train car company. So Cliff Notes version of the story here, the uh, Pullman used to design trains and that kind of stuff and design like train cars and back in the day they were pretty standard bare bones even commuter trains were pretty standard and bare bones it was Pullman who basically decided that they could have these ornate cars with beautiful you know uh, what are the things on the windows and you know plush seating and all that kind of stuff and then they didn't sell they couldn't sell them whatever so he thought well this is just a bad idea then Abraham Lincoln was killed and his body was brought back to Illinois on a Pullman car and so basically all, everyone across the country got to see Abraham Lincoln in this and it just blew up. They became huge. So they had this huge factory, they were making these Pullman cars and that's basically what became a big part of uh, American trains you know, for so long. But Pullman went a little bit crazy and he built a town for his workers. And at first it was like a really nice thing that you know his workers, but then he charged them too much for their rent and then he would cut their pay and this, that and the other. Oh, so he had this town that was built essentially for all these Pullman car workers. And then it ended up that there was riots and there was all this stuff about labor unions and that kind of stuff that the entire town that was supposed to be like this beautiful utopia for his workers ended up just being a terrible, awful place. So we, um, it's official. We have our Disney podcast name. We literally just did a practice episode just now driving. This has been two months of us trying to think of a name for this thing. So if you don't like it, you keep it to yourself because it took us a long time to come up with this. Yeah. Well, here's the thing guys. We went through so many ideas where it included our names, um, and we decided against that because we wanted it to be general enough that people just searching on, like, let's say the podcast, you know, search bar can find it and not, I don't know. We just didn't want our names. Well, and I also, we looked at a bunch of other podcasts and no one else seems to do that. Yeah, I mean, some, but. Even like Smart List or, you know, all that kind of stuff. A lot, most of them don't have their own name in it. You know, It might say with, you know, Tyler Jessup, but not have a beast because a lot of you guys had really cute ideas like you know beauty and the bronze or like which then i was like well i don't want people to be thinking i'm calling myself the beauty like <laughs> i don't know so anyway so we kind of decided we veered away from that and then we thought of a lot of like magical names but we guess what y'all most of the names were taken and it usually it's by someone that has two episodes up from four years ago but we're like well, we don't really want the same name and so that's why when we finally came up with this we were like no one has it it's perfect it's generic enough but we love it like we both had that feeling in our heart like that's the name yeah. so i'm pretty did we share what it is yet no not yet so we're gonna call it disneyville because there's a disney world there's, there's a disney disneyland Land, but there's no disneyville <laughs> but it's perfect because we're gonna be talking about like all things disney and i think that was we didn't want to pigeonhole ourselves and it just be disney world obviously yeah. not just disneyland because we go to world and, we also, wanted it to be and also like maybe we want to talk about movies disney movies or something yeah. i don't know Cruise line. I don't know. Yeah, well, we, we actually, also wanted yeah. to have it be uh, a short title because that was. A, 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 I've heard a lot of people talk about you know. Oh, have you heard on the Diz or have you heard on this or whatever? Mm -hmm. And so we wanted it to be a short title, and I feel like I could hear people saying, "Oh, I heard on the Disneyville podcast." Yeah. We're talking about you know. Whatever. It sounded like it could possibly be a household name. <laughs> we got and then plans. And for then you know, once we get to you know twenty million have people four in there, listeners. I'll, I'll have you know we'll create you know three or four more podcasts. We'll have a whole there you empire go. podcast. Just our podcast you know. empire. Anyway, so long story short, we are very happy with it. Yep. We uh, all the equipment is ordered. Uh, I have to read and say thank you to Jake Boss. He has been my guru. I keep asking him all these questions and about podcast gear and that kind of stuff. He's been awesome. So thank you. I know he and his fiance watch all our videos. Yes, thank, thank you for you. your help. You've been very helpful. I'm going to ask you a lot more questions. Don't worry. Okay, my arm's falling asleep. We got to finish the podcast. And I know we talked about it a little bit, but just in case you didn't hear, we are filming it as well. So the podcast will go up. It's going to be on its own YouTube channel. The first one's going to be on my channel. And then they will be on their own YouTube channel, the Dadville Podcast YouTube channel. So Sorry, if you want to, we're in construction. He's yeah, not it's, driving not terribly. Driving, it's yeah. that the lines are everywhere. But the uh, so it'll be a video as well. So if you prefer to watch the video instead of listening to the podcast, you have both options. There you go. Alrighty, we are home. I don't know if Jessica's already mentioned that we're home, but we're home. I'm about to go pick up Pinocchio, but I just want to show you really quickly. This is the book that I talked about a lot while we were there. It's called City of Big Shoulders, A History of Chicago. Um, it is really, really good. So if anybody's interested in the history of Chicago, all the way back looking at like Fort Dearborn, all the way to Mayor Lightfoot, I mean, anything in between. So it's got all the, uh, the, the years of the Capone years and the World's Fair and everything. It is an awesome overview of the history of Chicago. So if you're looking for something like that, 
if you're going on a trip there or if you're just interested or if you're just a nerd like me, this was a really interesting book and it was just the right amount of length. There were some that I saw that were way bigger than this that were, like I said, only led up to the World's Fair. They didn't even include the World's Fair or anything beyond it. So uh, this is a, an awesome, awesome book. Really, I really enjoyed this. But like I said, I'm about to go get Pinocchio, so I'm about to go... What am I even talking about? How many times can I say I'm about to go get Pinocchio? I'm about to go get Pinocchio, and I wanted to say that a lot of people have been asking if we're going to do our book review this year. We are definitely doing our book review, but I also wanted to mention that we are doing the book club with my agency, and several people have asked if I'll even share the books that we're doing, because my agency, we have an, like an internal book club that we do. So uh, here soon, I will also share the books that we do. It's a lot of Disney history and travel books and that kind of stuff that are part of our our uh, travel, our, our book club. So I will share those as well. So you got a lot of book content coming your way. <laughs> Pinocchio. Were you good for Uncle Jason? Immediately jumped in the car and hopped in the back to look and see if <laughs> the girls had dropped any snacks. And they had. What a lucky doggy. Were you a good boy? Were you a good boy? Pinocchio, you ready to go home? Okay, let's go. Still looking for snacks, always. <laughs> So as we contend with unpacking, etc., one of our lovely neighbors just dropped off the baked goods she makes. <laughs> Whitney, if you are watching, you make some of the best <laughs> Christmas treats that we genuinely look forward to every, every year. Oh, baby. So excited. I just gave Felicity a bath and now she's in the bath. Felicity's asleep, which is great because she, she was so happy to be in her own bed. You could tell. Uh, I got her these little like Christmas finger puppets to play with in the bath for the... For now, but also for the trip. So she played with them there in the bath, and now she was wanting to play with them. They're just cute. <laughs> I don't know why this just makes me so happy. I know I would have loved playing with these as a kid. All right, I just finished eating a Christmas cookie from a neighbor, and it was awesome. Oh, I uh, vlog about... You did? How? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. So good. Uh, I have a couple things. One, I just told Jessica I meant to film a time lapse on our drive home today, and I forgot. So I'm going to have Justin... <laughs> I don't know what, I think I'm just tired. This is not this funny, not very funny, but I think it's funny. I'm gonna have him take the time lapse from our way there and I'm gonna have him just reverse it so it looks like we're driving backwards all the way home. Flipping down, flipping in reverse. <laughs> anyway, that, that's that. So if you saw that earlier, that would have been earlier in the vlog at this point. Uh, that's, that's just making me laugh also. And then the other thing was one of my agents, Arlena, just sent this uh, Christmas card and it is just making me laugh that it says no tongues were damaged in the ceiling of this envelope, and then she taped it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Guys, we really are here to show you. I want to show you this. I want to know what you think of when you see this mug, okay? What decade would you say? Is that a good way to ask yeah, it? Yeah, but I, now that you say it like that, I actually have a couple it could be. Because everything's cyclical. Okay, everything comes back well, around. that's true. I would almost be like... Close. I would say, and also the... Also the 20s. <laughs> okay. Let us show you and then we'll, you give your guesses down below. Look at this amazing Chicago mug. It's mode. so just perfectly tacky and 90s. In and the like, best way. I feel like I could see my parents having this in the, in the cabinet. Yeah. And I had the it's exact just... same thought. I was like, I feel like that looks exactly like one my parents would have bought in like 1995 when I was it's like six. It's just beautiful. I just it's love beautiful. it so, so much. So we literally both saw it, had the same exact thought. And we're like, we got to buy it. It's like... It's just perfect. It's, it's, I have but noticed. then also, you're right, like kind of almost art deco. Yeah, like, yeah. But then also kind of 80s. But then also, like, yeah. Just get a little bit of everything. Even a little yeah. 70s in there. How fun is that, right? How fun it's is good that? good stuff. So, yeah, that's our new mug. Yeah. Added to the collection. We were just talking about how <sighs> it's amazing. I feel like it maybe it's just, I, I don't know, it's just interesting to know everywhere we went what? in Chicago. What does I think, he think I'm doing him? I went like this and he went, he just what? stole Gigi's hot dogs. Probably, I, don't oh, feel, he's, I don't feel very good. Yeah. Yes. Side note. I came downstairs. He up on, on the he's table. Never, I've never seen him do that. Just his front paws, but still on the table nevertheless. I hope Uncle Jason didn't let you get away with stuff like that. I bet he didn't. So where did you pick that up? Hmm? All of a sudden? You see the cat? He has a cat. Maybe he saw the cat on the table and said, I could do that. I wonder <laughs> if the wheels started turning. I bet I could. He's like, I've still got a little spring on my <laughs> spring in my step. <laughs> um, but anyway, we were just talking about how mm -hmm. how nice everyone was in Chicago, and it really was sort of an amazing thing because, like, Jessica lost her phone in the the bathroom at Macy's. That could have gone one of two ways. But I had a realization though. Sorry for cutting you off. Nothing. I wonder because you could see my lock screen. You know, you could see the picture. 
And it's literally a picture of you and me and the two girls and we're all happy. And I'm like, I wonder if someone would have even thought, but then they saw that and they're like, all right, I don't want to steal from someone that's got like two I, young kids. Yeah. I just feel like someone could have picked up my phone and seen the picture and been like, okay, yeah. I would feel too bad to. Maybe. I don't Let's know. Let's assume they were just a good person. I, yeah. I say, yeah. That's like, I don't know. I don't know about that. All right, anyway. All right. So the, but then, you know, I, I marked it lost on my phone. <laughs> And within like a minute, they saw whoever had it had saw the message pop up. I think on her phone that saying this phone is lost. If found, please call. And then it was my phone number. So they they called me immediately. And then they I went over there, and the manager there was just so nice. Mm -hmm. And literally, every single person we met was so nice. The uh, the CTA uh, people on the the L train were. Mm -hmm. I was walking up with the stroller, and the guy. Uh, I asked the guy, one of just somebody who lived there. I was like, "Oh, do I go to that door or whatever?" And he's like, "Oh, he's like, yeah, just go talk to the guy over there." Because we he couldn't go through the turnstile with the um, with the car yeah. Seat, so and like. so then I went over to the the actual thing, and he's like, "Oh yeah, I'll let you in." So he let me in, and I was like, "Oh, I need to tap to pay or whatever." He's like, "No, no, no." He said, "I can't make you pay with that that beautiful baby." Is what he said. <laughs> I think something like All right. that. So how that much was free awesome. stuff can we get with this baby? <laughs> but every single time we went like in and out of a door or whatever, somebody would go out of their way to open the door. And I noticed when I went to uh, Macy's to go get your phone, I was doing a little social experiment and I was just smiling at random people on the street. And I, I swear 100% of people smiled back at me. I believe it. So I'm like, I feel like big cities a lot of times get the reputation of being jaded and being dirty and being mean and being, you know. Yeah. I did not find that at all. And I feel I like I even on our, that's our last true, yeah. trip to New York, that was kind of a, you know, Every, I didn't was, even notice. Yeah. Other cities in, in Europe and stuff, same thing. Yeah. I mean, when we went to Paris, everyone's yeah, like, oh, the say, French yeah. are so rude. Dude, they're so not. Friendliest people. So not. But one thing we talk about a lot is like in 2022, let's say. Oh my gosh, it's almost 2023. Matter of days. But in 2022, we all, okay, I shouldn't say we all, but like a lot of people, especially since we're talking about city specifically, everyone's got the internet. We all see the same things online. Like we all, whereas like I feel like if we were to travel to different cities in like 1950, it'd be different because cities really were more unique and it's not to say that cities aren't unique but i think you're getting what i'm saying i hope you're getting what i'm saying that everything is kind of all generally now the same <laughs> and you see for better and for worse but yeah. you know what i mean and i just feel like everyone's just like everyone's just people well and for the most part i feel like you know new york and chicago specifically no one's from there I mean, if they are, they're going to tell you 12 times, native New Yorker here, <laughs> uh, born and raised. They'll let you know. Especially Chicago. You'll know. Like, you'll I'm from know. Chicago. Oh, yeah? Uh, where? Uh, Gary, Indiana? I'm like, that's not Chicago. <laughs> anyway. No, okay. We're being mean. Chicago anyway, land. But they, uh, yeah, Chicago land. Uh, which has been, you know, 28 miles of Chicago. Um, I'm anyway. trying to think of what an example would be like for us. Like, in fairness to that, if someone like the town we're from is close to Indianapolis, so, like, if someone from elsewhere asked where we were from, course, we'd probably say yeah. Indianapolis, knowing that's not technically where we live, but it's, like, the closest big city. Exactly. Well, and I, I would say the further you get away In from your home... In defense of people that say that. The, the further away you get from your home, the more generalized that gets, yeah. obviously. So, like, if like we're I think in, maybe at some point we would just say we're from Chicago. Yeah, I say we're, we're in Australia. Well, we'd be like, yeah, it's Chicago. Yeah, so I was going to say, if we're in Europe. I mean, that's what we've stole told people. It. Stole it out of your mouth. Yeah. So, anyway, so the... Um, uh, what was I going to say about that, though? I keep getting off track. I don't know who's interrupting you and getting you off track. I just don't know who's doing it. What was I going to say, though? Shoot, it was important. Uh, oh, just that I feel like so many you people who live in New York. Shouting. So many people that live in New York or Chicago aren't actually from there. They're from, you know, small towns and whatever. So I feel like, you know, there are those native people and, you know, they might be a little bit more hardened or people that have lived there for 30 years or whatever. But I feel like that, that whole, um, at least in my personal experience, everyone mm -hmm. is going to have, I'm sure, different experiences. Mm -hmm. But, uh, like, the Fran Lebowitz, like, angry at everything and, you know, pretend it's a city and I'm mad at you for no reason and you suck and get out of my way. That, I feel like, is starting to kind of go away a little bit. Yeah, I've, like, never experienced I've that I've never in experienced life. that in big cities. I <laughs> no. mean, again, there are, obviously, cities have their problems. Every place has its I think, problems, I was going to say, but... you go to a small town and find someone that's just mean. Exactly. They're just mean people, but anyway. Yeah. I think, You um... ain't from around here, are you? <laughs> that was my impression of someone being mean in a small town. <laughs> they don't all sound like that. To oh, I think that every single... I sound like that. I'm from I was like, you're from a small town. <laughs> It's okay. I can say that. I'm from a small town. Anyway, um, we're getting way off the rails here, guys. Oh, my here, gosh. Guys. Oh, side note. I haven't told you this. So I was just laying Gigi down, and our, like, routine is we'll read her a book, you know, in bed. So right now, we have this, like, 25 Days of Christmas book. It's cute. It's Disney. So it's a story every day. And the stories are kind of long. I'm like, oh, I wish these were, like, a couple paragraphs shorter. <laughs> like, come on, guys. How much time? They're, like, five-minute stories. But, um... 
I started to read it to her and she was like, oh, we have to catch up. And I'm like, no, honey, we brought on the trip. We read you some of these like in the hotel room and I, she was so tired every night. She fell asleep. So anyway, so I convinced her I was not going to read like four tonight. So I start reading tonight's. I get about a sentence in and she goes, mom, I'm just so tired. You can just stop. And she laid down. <laughs> I was like, okay. I shut the book and laid it down. She's like, can you turn off the light? I just okay. went up there to go get the, the tripod here. And she's in bed with her like light-up balloon that we got at the Lincoln I Park Zoo. Asleep. And her whole room is like a rave. And she's just asleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> how she she's techno, just exhausted. techno music up there. <laughs> There's nothing better, though. That's pretty funny. There's nothing better than like being home. Like, are you in your comps? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. in my comps. The girls, they're bathed and clean. They've got their cozy jammies on. Like Pinocchio's heel. Pinocchio's heel. He says, I'm not really clean, but I am pretty fully cute. I did clean that plate of Gigi's, though. So so that is clean. That plate, you can just put white back in a cabinet. But it, there's something just so wonderful about, like, when you get home and you're just, like, cozy. Yeah. And you're like, ah, oh, home. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So that's, where, right. that's our mindset tonight. Well, I'm going to make a thumbnail for yesterday's Vlogmas. And then I'll I'm going to go to bed calm. early. I'm excited it's 8 about 30. that. Although, we always say that, and then we're up till midnight somehow, anyway. Every time. Just putzing around. I'm like, what are we even doing? <laughs> we're just like... Usually reading, but also... Well, but no, half it's... the time, we're just putzing around. I'm like, All oh, right. I better order this Christmas gift, so I just putz around for five hours on the internet. Well, I got some putzing to do. Goodbye! Good night! <laughs>